Yo, what's going on guys? Nizion here bringing you another video on our channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about FIFA 22. But before we get started with today's video, if you aren't new to the channel, like I always say, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to keep up to with all the quality gaming content under 10 minutes. And also by the end of this video, if you did go ahead and enjoy it, a like rating will be greatly appreciated to help the YouTube algorithm. Now without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now obviously, FIFA 22 is coming out pretty soon in just a few months or so. So we are still awaiting the release date uh, well not a recent release date sorry but the release of the game or the beta or the early access itself which should start somewhere near mid to late september of this year so we're closing in on the release date but essentially with the ultimate edition of fifa 22 in specific and if you want to know how to get a big discount potentially 20 plus percent off the fifa 22 game i'll leave a video linked on the top of the screen right now to a video that i made on how you guys can go ahead and do that and everyone can go ahead and get the ultimate edition for a very good price in my personal opinion and this year uh, they've made it very very well worth it with the 4600 FIFA points you're going to be getting in Ultimate Team. Now in today's video in specific I want to talk about these FIFA points and how you can properly use them and utilize them to your best of the ability. So obviously uh, if you talk about US dollars and currency uh, about 12,000 FIFA points you can buy 12,000 FIFA points at the time at maximum and that's about a hundred dollars uh us now 4600 is about almost half of that so it should be near 40 50 dollars us and that's how much 4600 fifa points are so dependent where you are in the world and how much you can spend on fifa points 4600 fifa points is not bad at all now i know for some countries such as belgium and some european countries as well uh, fifa points are not actually an option for you guys you can't purchase fifa points nor i think you guys have the fifa points option but I'm not quite clear about that. But if you don't get that, obviously you don't have the FIFA points. But if you live in a country which does, does accept FIFA points and you can purchase FIFA points, you're going to be getting this 4,600 FIFA points. Now, obviously, uh, I personally, in my opinion, would not just spend it right away on premium gold packs because that's what they always do at the start of the year. They give you these FIFA points or they give you these packs, whatever that you want to spend. And maybe you want to put in 12,000 FIFA points of your own money and spend it on just premium gold packs. But in my personal opinion, I recommend to just stay away from it. Now, usually at the start of every year, there's always a once to watch promo. Now, what you can do if you are a big pack opener is wait until once to watch comes out and then go ahead and open the promo packs and not the premium gold packs. Like the promo packs should be somewhere around the 15,000 coin packs, 25,000 coin packs and maybe even mega packs 50k packs and even 100k packs or if we're lucky ultimate packs which are the most highest priced packs in the game but essentially in my personal opinion i would really wait for the ones to watch promo to come out which should be coming out sometime in the first week or two of the fifa 22 release so we you don't really have to wait that long anyways but if you really want to spend your time wisely and if you are a half decent FIFA player, so if you do play Ultimate Team, you do play Div Rivals and maybe play casually some foot champions, then I would highly recommend going on to playing the foot draft. Now, the online foot draft and using these FIFA points just for the online foot draft, in my personal opinion, is one of the best ways to do it. A lot of YouTubers tell us this. Uh, you look at A9 skills, Nepenthes, and a lot of other big ones actually do the same thing with their FIFA points. And they don't always uh, spend all their coins on packs because you guys do know, like we all do, that packs aren't the best way to pay us out and give us a lot of money. And essentially, instead of buying one pack, you can go into the foot draft with 300 FIFA points at a time. And then come out with maybe two or three extra packs if you at least make it to the second round. Now I do recommend entering into the foot draft if you can make it into at least round two or above. So you can, if you can make it to round two, round three, round four, that is probably the best possible way that you guys can be making the most out of the foot draft. Now obviously if you lose in the second round, if you lose in the first round, you won't be getting as great rewards as you would if you go ahead and win the third round or lose in the third or win the whole draft and win all four or lose in the last game because that will be getting you the better rewards in general. But essentially if you are a half decent view player, like I said, I recommend just saving up and just going ahead and doing the foot draft online consistently as long as you're a half decent FIFA player and that by the end of it you should be getting a lot of good rewards and compared to one pack getting three or four packs from the rewards are much better in my opinion and you can bet get way more coin rewards at the end obviously it does take a little bit more work but also it will actually 
you'll have the 4600 FIFA points for longer compared to if you just sit down and just open premium gold packs for like 150 uh, FIFA points at a time which will run out fairly quickly in my opinion it would actually run out in 30 minutes or so and most likely about 80 to 90 percent you won't be getting a very very big player if you are lucky you might get one one walk out or if you're really lucky maybe two but that's really it you're not going to be getting some big big valued players and especially at the start of the year no one really has coins so the prices for some of these players are pretty affordable so you won't be getting a big big return unless it's like a top 10 rated player or an icon or something very special so that's what i recommend you guys to do uh if you do have fever points and if you are trying to spend it wisely that's my personal opinion so let me know in the comment section down below if you are ordering the ultimate edition or maybe you're getting the physical edition of the game standard edition whatever you are let me know that in the comment section down below and check out my other fifa 22 videos i have a lot on my channel and be uploading more the closer we get to the release date of fifa 22 that's been it for today's video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please be sure to leave it in the comment section down below i'll try my best to answering every single question down there it's been a bonizion and i'll be catching you guys all in my next video peace out